I read now another book by Aaron Schuster on Kafka's stories, especially his story on Doc, Doc, his late tales on animals, Kafka, Doc, who wants to be a philosopher, investigator. Okay, but my point is this one, that he follows, he, Aaron Schuster, Jacques Lacan, who, I think, it convinced me totally, who claims that uh, language at its zero level, it's not this communication, exchange of uh, information, and so on. Animals already have that kind of language. You know, for example, we all know bees, they know how to communicate. Like one bee, by flying in a certain way, can let other bees know, move here and then left, and you will encounter, I don't know, uh, 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 a, a big flower with a lot of potential honey or whatever and so on. No, it's not... Uh, 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 it's not just uh, it's not just uh, 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 communicating information. It's a wonderful idea that Kafka indicates somewhere, but others developed it. That the basic act of language is sorry for the shock is cursing, curse, because cursing curse is not sim. Be very careful. Cursing is not simply. Just a condensed way to humiliate you. Like, no, instead of argue, arguing against you, I say, F off, uh, up yours, you are an it, whatever. No, no, you find hints of a much more wonderful notion that cursing always involves you. The basic dimension of cursing is not, I want to humiliate you. You curse when you are at a loss of proper words. Cursing emerges because ultimately we are in language, but we are also always alienated in language. We never succeed in fully saying what we want in language. So cursing basically means I'm confused. I don't know what to say. The proper word, I'm missing it. You know, in this sense, Lacan, I think, has right that uh, you, from this animal signaling, which can be very accurate, you enter proper human language when you add a curse. Because a curse means, sorry, but I don't recognize myself in my words. I cannot say what I want to say. This is the zero, this is the zero level of language. So you see, uh, this is the reason I like these examples, is that, again, we have a very empirical phenomenon, cursing, but at the same time, uh, uh, we are at the high philosophic, in a high philosophical topic of what is the basic dimension of language, why human language cannot be reduced to exchanging information.